Good morning, honorable judges, fellow contestants, and audience. The concept of there being a right and a wrong has caused confusion and pain. We have all seen how people use this concept to appoint themselves into doing the right things and frame and judge others for doing the wrong things. Some of the time, this approach has led to violence and war. Right and wrong is a very controversial subject to many people, having its exceptions. So, in this speech, I'm going to be focusing on the perception of right and wrong. What is right and what is wrong? Now that's a loaded question. The eternal difference between right and wrong does not fluctuate, it is immutable, said Patrick Henry. Essentially, this means that the lasting difference between right and wrong does not seesaw or vary, it is unchanged. Now, you're probably thinking, right and wrong must depend on certain things, right? Perhaps society, era, and place? That is true, to a certain extent. What I mean is that yes, right and wrong can change. However, the meaning of right and wrong is not independently decided by that specific generation or place. For instance, in India, it is considered wrong to kill a cow. However, other places like North America, it's perfectly normal, good business. So who is going to determine who is right? You? Me? Before we jump into controversies, what exactly does right and wrong mean? In the Oxford English Dictionary, it states that right is Morally good, justified, reason, truth, and acceptable. Wrong is incorrect, not true. If right means justified, can we justify a wrong situation to make it right? Obviously, there are two main actions that are considered wrong everywhere. To kill and to murder. Be that as it may, even these two are considered to have exceptions. Is murdering wrong if somebody breaks into your home and you kill them for self-defense? All in all, it is all in what we believe, which brings us to the next part, spirituality and our beliefs. How does spirituality and our beliefs pair well what we think is right or what we think is wrong? Believe it or not, our beliefs and deeper issues guide us to what we think is right and wrong. For example, some people think it is wrong to voice your opinion. They believe it is right to listen to the leader or crowd. Mature spiritual people like Deepak Chopra come to an understanding that there are useful right and wrong beliefs. They believe that the more suffering you cause is wrong, and the more you alleviate suffering is right. Our ego is the reason why we come to a conclusion that everything must fall to the categories of right or wrong. It must name each situation one or the other. The ego also needs to be right, and in order for that to happen, there must be a wrong. We can all believe what we want to believe until it affects someone else's rights. Some people think that being a part of the LGBTQ community is wrong, or that you should dislike the woman who got an abortion. Yet, while you're hating on them, you're invading their human rights. Doing right typically enforces a positive self-concept, while wrong leads to guilty feelings, admitted Emily Lestad, a biology teacher at the International School of Communication. In some places, people follow their own moral compass, which is to say that every individual has their perception of what is right and what is wrong. In other places, people follow a leader. The laws are put in place so that every person recognizes a line that is not to be crossed. But what happens when our rulers have a broken moral compass? What happens when you go against a depraved and corrupted law? Is it right or is it wrong? Segregation and slavery were rules that needed to be broken because, again, they interfered with that person's rights. Talk about a broken moral compass. Martin Luther King Jr. demonstrating his nonviolent ways of brotherhood, fairness, and equality was right to him. However, Malcolm X thought he was doing the right things when he encouraged and supported the black community to fight violence with violence. Do we value one act more than the other? If so, why? Clearly, there's a lot to be said about this concept, with many argumentative points and debatable beliefs. Thus, making this notion either black or white is difficult. Therefore, ask yourself, how do you define right and wrong?